Hello everyone and welcome back to Motoko Bootcamp, welcome back to the DAO Adventure. Today we are building the graduation project. If you've been following the DAO Adventure, you know that the graduation is the final phase. This is where we build and deploy your own DAO. And this is also where you have the opportunity and the chance to earn your Motoko Bootcamp diploma. Now that you've learned a lot and you've discovered a lot of new concepts, it's time to prove your skills and to showcase what you've learned. If you can make it, you will unlock access to your Motoko Bootcamp diploma. What are you going to build today? So for the first time, we need to build a multi-canister application. On the right, you can see the web page canister, which is the canister that controls and serves a simple web page. This web page contains some text, and this text is the manifesto of your DAO. The DAO canister on the left is the main canister. This is where you will store the member data. This is where you, are, you will implement a voting system, a role system, and the DAO canister is the only entity that is able to modify the text on the web page canister. So only through a vote of the DAO, the web page canister can be modified. I am on the repository, so I can see that I have a very long readme file with all the instructions on how to get started, the requirements for the graduation project, the types, interface, as always, submission, and so on. So let's take a look at the readme. There is a little explanation about why DAOs and what is the motivation for this final project. So you can read here. And then how to get started. This is exactly the same as during the training. You can either get started using a Gitpod environment or you can get started by running this repository locally. So you would need to, cl to clone the repository, install the FX and run that on your favorite ID. Now let's take a look at the requirements. So the requirements, you have nine of them. And as long as you are able to fulfill those requirements, you will graduate. There are many ways to graduate. There are many different projects that would be valid. There are many ways to implement the same functionalities. The only thing that you need to make sure is that your project fulfill all those requirements. If it's the case, you're good. So let's take a look at those requirements. The first requirement is this double canister. So you need to have two canisters, the web page canister and the DAO canister. The second one is the membership and token allocation. So you will need to use a Motoko Bootcamp token. The Motoko Bootcamp token, as you will see, is a token that does not hold any value. It's a free, completely free educational token. We have created a token for set, as you can see here, and it's deployed on the internet computer and you are able to mint token by calling the Motoko Bootcamp token. So I will go a little bit more deep into the explanation, but essentially you have this token and you need to use it. New members of your DAO will receive 10 Motoko Bootcamp token upon joining. Motoko Bootcamp token are used for participating in the DAO activities. Requirements number three, you have to implement a role system. The DAO comprises three roles, students, graduates, and mentors. Students, all members start as students. Those are members who haven't completed the bootcamp yet. After the students, you have the graduates. The graduates have the, are the members that have completed the bootcamp and they have the right to vote on proposals. Anyone can be become a graduate through a graduate function. So this graduate function is gonna be a public function of your canister, but only mentors, so the mentors are the roles, no, the role number three, are able to execute the graduate function. There is no need to implement a verification process. So essentially the graduates, you just call the graduates. If you are a mentor, then you can move someone from student to graduate. The mentors are the final role. Final, final role. Those are graduates who are, who are selected by the DAO to become mentors. They can vote and create proposals. So students cannot vote on proposal, graduates can vote on proposal but cannot create proposal, and mentors can vote and create proposals. How to become a mentor? To become a mentor, you have to pass a proposal to the DAO, so you have to vote to be voted on, and only an existing mentor can pass a proposal to propose that a graduate become a member. So you have to have a, mem a mentor already that select you, pass a proposal to um, move you from graduate to mentor, and then if the DAO approves it, then you are now a mentor. So that's for the role system, and we will come back to it later. Requirements number four, proposal creation. Only mentors are authorized to create proposals. We have already talked about that. And to create a proposal, a mentor must burn one Motoko Bootcamp token, which decreases their token balance. So again, you need to interact with this canister, the Motoko Bootcamp token, through your code. Voting system, requirements number five. You need to implement this voting system where only graduates and mentors are allowed to vote. And the voting power of a member is determined as follows. 
If the member is a student, the voting power is set to zero because students cannot actually vote, so they don't have any voting power. The graduates has a voting power that is directly equal to the number of Motoko Bootcamp tokens they hold at the moment of voting. So read that again if you need. The number of tokens that you hold can, of course, always fluctuate, but the voting power corresponds to the, mm, the amount of token at the moment, exact moment where you vote. If the member is a mentor, the voting power is equal to five times the number of tokens they hold at the moment of voting. So you can see basically the voting power is determined by the number of tokens, but also by the role that you have in the DAO. So if you are a mentor, for the same amount of token, you have more voting power than a graduate. Then there are some explanations about how the vote system works. So there is a um, vote object, which we'll dive a little bit more in the future, in the, in the next five minutes. So essentially, you have a voting power, which can be added or subtracted to the vote score. There is a vote score for each vote in the proposal object. If you vote yes, so if you vote for the proposal, your voting power is added. If you vote no, your voting power is removed. And a proposal is accepted if the score, the total score reaches 100 or more and is rejected if it reaches minus 100 or less. And if it's in the middle, it stays open. Any proposal that is approved is automatically executed. There is one example. For example, if a mentor with a token, token balance of 15 Motoko Bootcamp token votes on a proposal with a true vote, so he votes for the proposal, 75 token, so 75 will be added to the vote score. Assuming the vote score was originally 30, the vote score is now is now at 105 and I can see that there is a little typo here. There shouldn't be a minus here. I will remove that. 105 and the proposal is accepted. Requirements number six, proposal types. There are three types of proposal. You can change the manifesto, add a goal, add a mentor. So add a mentor is the one that we've talked about. This proposal contains a principle that is, if approved, the person become a mentor of the DAO. When a proposal is created, we need to make sure that the specified principal is already a graduate because only graduates can become mentor. If the proposal is approved, then the person becomes a mentor and we should see this change reflected. Then the two other goals, add goal and change manifesto, contains a text. If this text is approved, it's gonna be the new manifesto of the DAO. If this is approved, it should be reflected on the DAO canister, but also on the web page canister. So you will need to make inter canister call to able to modify the manifesto on the DAO and also on the web page. And same things for the goals. So there is a, your DAO contains some goals and you can add a goal. If you want to add a goal, you have to go through the DAO voting system. Requirement number seven, the initial setup. So you should include an initial mentor to ensure that the DAO is operational. If you think about it, if you don't have any mentor from the beginning, you cannot actually get more mentors because to get a mentor, you need already one mentor. So. The first mentor and the only mentor, mentor that you need to outcode in your DAO is gonna be this one. The name will be Motoko Bootcamp and the canister ID will be this one. So this is actually the canister ID of the Motoko Bootcamp dashboard. You can decide to outcode the initial setup inside your code. So you can have a line that actually implement this. Or you could also have a script that you run just after your canister is deployed. But before you submit your project, you need to make sure that this initial setup is operational. Requirements number eight, the token faucet. So you are required to use the Motoko Bootcamp token. Again, it's a free educational token faucet. It doesn't hold any value and it will never be. It allows unlimited minting, but holds no real economic value. So keep that in mind. Find the token faucet source code in the token faucet folder. So you have access to the source code of the token faucet. You can deploy it locally. So if you're working locally, you will need to deploy this token faucet. But if you are deploying on the IC directly, you have the existing token faucet that you can interact with. So this is the canister ID for the mainnet. You will need to use the faucet to mint tokens when a new member joins your DAO and also burn tokens when a new proposal is created. Finally, requirement number nine, you need to make use of stable structures. The goal is for your DAO to be upgradable without losing any data. So keep that in mind. We need to make use of those stable structures. All the types necessary for this project are defined in types.motoko. Then we have the interface for the DAO canister. So those are all the methods that your DAO canister should implement and the interface for the web page canister. How to submit your project? You go to the Motoko Bootcamp dashboard, section submit, graduation, and input your canister ID. You should only submit the canister ID for your DAO canister. So you have the DAO and the web page, but only the, the DAO canister is the one that I need, not the web page. 
The test should take between 20 to 30 seconds, so don't be surprised if it takes some time. And do not interact with your DAO canister during the testing phase, that's important. Do not uh, play with your project while you are being tested. Make sure to respect the interface. And if your test fails, so if there is something wrong, you should see um, you should see an error message. If you don't see any error message, then please open your browser inspector, check the developer console, take a screenshot and report the issue on the feedback channel of Motoko Bootcamp. And that's it. What are the benefits of graduating? Graduating gives you a lot of benefits. Benefits. Graduating is the is your, the beginning of your ICP journey. So it will give you access to a dedicated Motoko Bootcamp graduate channel on OpenChat, a portal dedicated portal on Discover. You will have access to the Motoko Bootcamp manifesto, which is a document reserved for students. Also, be able to participate in our future bootcamps and additional benefits that we are working on and will announce soon. The Motoko Bootcamp diploma and the on-chain infrastructure that is required for it are still under development, so keep that in mind. You might not receive your diploma immediately, but as long as you are graduate on the dashboard, you will eventually receive your diploma. Let's take a look at the repository, so actually at the, um, the folders, and for that, I will open the repository in my Gitpod environment. Okay, so I have my Gitpod ready. As you can see, we have a source folder. In the source folder, we have three canisters. We have the DAO canister, the token for set, and the web page canister. The token for set contains the code for this Motoko Bootcamp token for set that I've mentioned. This code is only here to give you access to the source code and also to give you a way to deploy this canister locally if you need to. You don't need to write any code here. So this has already been done for you and you don't need to touch it. You don't need to modify it. So that's our first canister. And actually, if you look at the fx.json, you can see that you have the token here. Now, the two canisters that you need to work on are the DAO canister and the web page canister. So the web page canister contains the web page and the functions to modify the manifesto and the goals and the logo of your DAO, as we've seen in the training. And the DAO canister contains the methods for all the rest. So the members of your DAO, the proposal system, the, 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 the goals, the manifesto, and so on. So let me take a look at this code. For every canister, you have the types.motoko file. So it contains the type that you need to use. For example, this is the type for the role system. You can see this is a variant with a student, graduate, mentor. You can see the type for the proposal. So this is what I was talking about previously. A proposal contains the following fields. So you have the content. The content of the proposal represents the action that the proposal is supposed to take. So for example, change manifesto, add goal, add mentor. Change the manifesto to the provided text, add the goal with the provided text, it should be added here. Add the mentor with the, upgrade the member to a mentor with the provided principle. The creator is the person that created the proposal. Created is the time the proposal was created. Executed is an optional time where the proposal was executed. Of course, it's going to be null if the proposal is still not executed. The votes is an object that contains an array containing all the votes on the proposal so far. The vote score is the score of the proposal, so it can be a value between minus 100 and 100. So if the vote score is minus 100 or less, then the proposal is considered refused, so rejected. If the proposal is 100, uh, if the vote score is 100 or more, it's considered accepted. And finally, the status represents the current status of the proposal, so the proposal can be open for vote, accepted or rejected. Then you have some types for the HTTP requests, as we've seen, and that's about it for the DAO canister. For the web page canister, we have only access to the HTTP types, and that's enough. One thing to mention about this project is that there is a little complication, which is the canister ID of the web page is necessary in the code of the DAO canister, and the canister ID of the DAO canister is necessary in the web page canister. So how do you solve that? Because it's like a recursive kind of type of issue. You need to choose one canister that you deploy first, and then you copy paste the ID in your code. So right now you have this fake ID, which is like something you have, you have to modify. This is only for making sure that the file is uh, compiling, at least that it's not throwing error, but this is not the correct canister ID. Of course, you will have a different canister ID. It depends if you deploy locally or on the playground, on the IC, you will have different IDs. But you need to use the canister ID of the web page in the DAO canister and the inverse is also true. So you need to choose a canister that you deploy first, then you can use this canister ID in the other canister, and then once you have the other canister ID, you redeploy your first canister. That's a little bit messy, but we don't have an, another way to solve that right now. Or you could also implement that with a script, so you could have a function that can modify this programmatically, but this is probably for later. Okay, that's enough. I think that's everything that you need to know. 
Um, all the types have been import imported for you, all the necessary types in the main.motoko file, and you have the structure of the canister as always. Good luck. If you have any question, you can reach out on Discord or in the open chat group. You can also join our mentorship session or one of the bootcamp that we organize every month. I wish you the best and good luck with this project. It's not easy, but you can do it. And I see you in the next video.